Welcome back, MTG Joe here, here for a live one on Twitch. Um, so we're going to be playing in some brews for Standard 2022. Um, what we have up first is a Naya, mostly red-green landfall deck. Uh, one of the folks in the YouTube comments was asking about building around Druid class. I uh, couldn't really get anything to really pop off with that just because there's not many put extra lands into play uh, effects. But really what we're trying to do with this deck is uh, use the Jaspara, uh, Magda, and Prosperous Innkeeper kind of ramp on two style effects and get us ahead on mana. And then what we're able to do is use also Lotus Cobra and Emergent Sequence to pull lands from our deck, trying to get ahead and play out either Felidar Retreat on turn three or uh, early showdown of the scalds and basically get ahead on mana and then what we're able to do is with six mana play scoot swarm ashaya makes all our creatures that are non-token also trigger it because it counts as forests that gains us a bunch of life with prosperous innkeeper uh also works with phylinth um making putting counters on all our stuff um so there's like a lot of cool kind of synergies um there's basically like next to no interaction in this deck so you're trying to go wide and hope that works out um it's been like so-so in testing, but we'll give it a shot. Um, base green mana, so we're playing four Hydra layers as well because we can get ahead on lands. Um, but let's give it a shot. Um, I've played this like two or three times, but we'll see how this one goes. Also have uh, mono black Scourge of the Skyclaves and mono white, uh, well, mono white slash Showdown of the Scalds aggro. Uh, so a few decks to play today. I'm trying to go live a couple times more often on Twitch. Uh, but as always, you can catch this content afterwards on my YouTube as well. Should pull up the deck lists now. Let's see if this works. Sorry, I haven't streamed in a bit, so... Hmm. It's not picking up untapped. Um, this hand looks like a keep. You can play... We don't have red mana, but Lotus Cobra can help us get red mana. We can also get an early showdown going. Second Lotus Cobra is pretty nice. So black white probably means angels. Life gain can still be that. So we are on Lotus Cobra Tron, it feels like. So next turn we'll go Lotus Cobra, play out a land, cast another Lotus Cobra. That sets us up pretty nicely. This matchup will be interesting because we don't really have interaction and flyers could be a bit of a problem. Green, green. No attacks here. Gain some life. So we need to be mindful of the 27 life. That's where we can start getting into some issues. We're at 24 already. You cleric as well. So black, white cleric set of our opponent. Okay, they're one life off. Um, so I think we are, let's maximize the amount of mana we have this turn, red, white, probably dead, just they had a nice start. Yeah, didn't really draw much here. That'll give them the life that they need. Okay, we can see. We can try to drag it out for like a turn. We are hoping for like Scoot Swarm or Shia. Something big. But this is going to hit us hard. I have a thirst. Pretty easy turn by the opponent. Don't really want to trade here. That's not terrible. Um, 
So I think what we're doing is playing this out. Green, green, red. Playing out Jaspera. Playing out this. Playing out this. So take him down a bit of life here. Doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But that was pretty much our turn. So we were able to a bit of pop off like in terms of getting a lot of value, but not like huge, huge amounts. Yeah, they're back to 27. They take that out of my hand, so I really don't have much at this point. Yeah, I think we're dead. Okay. Flyers are a bit of an issue, and then just them gaining life. We had a pretty, like, explosive start, but just not enough there. Give it a shot, see how it goes. Um, yeah, I think the Jaspara to Magna is a very powerful interaction. So we can do this, play it out, tap it, and then play just fire the same turn. Uh, so do green mana here. Next turn, I can showdown of the Scalds to help me find lines. Opponent looks to be on mono white aggro, Kabira takedown. Hmm. I think we still want to hit lines here. So let's do this. Perfect. So we do this. Let's play out Lotus Cobra here. And we're close to the Ashaya Scoot Swarm interaction. You gain two life, you destroy target enchantment or exile graveyard. Pretty flexible card with all the classes going around. That's actually pretty nice. We don't get the counters, but really I wanted to draw the cards with this. Let's see how much we can pop off this turn. So do this. Add green. Do this. Add green. So then. Oh, do I need to do that? No. Our creatures tap for lines as well. So now Scoot Swarm comes in and then taps for mana. I can't generate enough, so that's my turn. The next turn we play the land we play Phylanth. This comes in, makes tokens. Only makes one token right now. Okay, so they can get rid of one scoot swarm. They opt to not get rid of anything. Interesting. up there 
So... Megda just taps here. Hmm. So my question, because I get an extra token this way, which I think I value that. But then these come in and make my things bigger, so maybe we just violent here. Uh, let's go red. Play out a basic lands. Make red. Play out Magda here. <laughs> and if we had the innkeeper, we'd be gaining life off all this. So in this game here, where we're able to like gum up the board, um, it works out pretty well. The issue is when we try to go against flyers, I don't have reach outside of a Jaspera Sentinel. But that game played out nicely where we got an early showdown, a Shia fuels that any of these creatures come in, they trigger more triggers, and you kind of go off. We only got one token because of the basic there, um, but I think that we need to play enough like miscellaneous lines. Okay, this sounds good. Guess opponent just doesn't want to play today. Can't do much. It's the, the play queue. We're testing this out. I don't want to take it to rank just yet. I don't think this is necessarily a, a fantastic rank deck, uh, at least in its current iteration. Um, I think we keep this. So I am somewhat reliant on a red mana. The triple hydro draw. Emergent sequence can get me a red mana. And then I can play out the Magda. Keeper. Tap this turn, so we'll just attack. Let's get the. So the question is, do I get the white mana or the red mana? I think we get red because I can use Magda right away. This does open us up if they have like a creature into Blizzard Brawl, something like that. Okay, so they're Croaky's uh, Gruel Showdown deck. Okay, they did hit the Frostbite. Something to be cognitive of next turn. Okay, so we hit the land, which is nice. Um, so let's see what we can do this turn. So I could Magda. So white, tap this, get a token. So that sets us up nicely. So next turn, so they need to decide here what they want to take out. Um, whether it be with the frostbite on Magda, on my mountain. Yeah, so they take out Magda here. If we draw a white land, we're in good spot. If not, then I just start making tokens. Is that Blizzard Brawl? Gotta love when they draw like all their cheap removal early. Hit me for four here. So we're gonna go Kazandu, play a land. Ooh. So white. Oh no. 
I forgot. That comes in tapped. It's alright. So we need to hit one of our showdowns. That would help here. Even another land isn't terrible. Because then we get to play out this and um, have another creature. Jeez. The old top 15 cards, three removal spells, four removal spells, jeez. Yeah, you're, you're likely not, like, when your opponent draws like that, you're likely not going to win. Okay, that's good, because we can do white mana here. Make two cats. So showdown would be the best draw we can have right now. And this is what I like, like the Jaspara package. It helps filter our mana. Ranger's class is annoying. I would love even just like a Prosperous Innkeeper perhaps. So we can see, I'm going to throw in a double block here, depending on how they attack. I think that's probably worth it at this point. Like, lands give us two creatures. Cobra's not the greatest here. Need us a showdown. We're dead. So, yeah, we're dead. With the, this in the sky, I'm, I'm too far behind. Opponent had a lot of removal that game. If we had a showdown to refill, might get there, but without the showdown, it's a little tough. All right, I like this hand. Prosperous Innkeeper, if we draw an untapped land, we can play Showdowns, but just even going Innkeeper into Innkeeper with a tapped land. Uh, just as far as a turn late, but. Better late than never. I think this might be Angels again, so it'd be nice for us to try it out. Ooh, Esper. So, we can do this. Question is, I probably do this. Uh, no, because if it's Doom Scar, then I want to have Showdown available. With them foretelling, they very likely could have a white mana, so I don't want to overcommit here. Showdown lets me refill my hand. And I get to do that without playing a land, so that way I can play effectively two lands off this showdown. Yeah, this is definitely control. So here... This out, gain two life. Can't do much more, so we'll just pass the turn. There is a reason, you know what I should have done? I should have played this out on white, kept the land, because next turn I could play Felidar Retreat. They could have a counter here. So 
white, you put it on you. Yeah. So you're just a land for the turn. I can play you out on white. They could have a sweeper, but these cards are free. We'll keep the cards in our hand and then go from there. I want to see if we could get Felidae Retreat going. Yeah, Team Scar is expected. So this is free. Refill here. Not the best, to be honest. We can go Hydra's Lair here, give us another creature land. Probably attacking in here first. Ooh, it's Scoot Swarm Kit. Now we're talking. counter out of them. That suggests to me that they don't have a sweeper, which is nice. Uh, we'll just go red here. And then I'm going to cast this other Magda to put a counter on this Magda. I uh, will take a free card. Keep this one. So not a bad turn. We can just pump mana into this if needed. Point of Beholds here. I don't necessarily want to play into another Sweeper. They bought him too, so bodes well. We really want to fell at our retreat. So one, two. It's a little risky if they kill my thing. I feel pretty bad, but Magda also making a treasure here. Okay. I think at this point I'd rather they verse that. So we've seen two counters, one Doom Scar out of them. Oh, this isn't working right now. The la the latest. Th oh, that's scary. Looks like you slumped out. Come on. Um, let's do this for two. Yeah, removal. Kinda bad, but we do this. We're kinda all in now. Our deck doesn't really want to play against a sweeper deck, but Liliana could help dig here. We also don't have too much. Like we were hoping for that creature land. Yeah, if they got rid of blot, that means Mordecai even. Yeah, we're in a rough spot. Leave me be. I'm reading. 
So I think we need to start with the Liliana. Take that off just because it's going to gain life. Interesting deck. Yeah, we can't even kill it now. Okay, Shia's not bad. That goes on your permanent record. Just they're gonna get so much card advantage now. What is Mordecai in all that? This card's not very good in the format. Come on, there's gotta be something useful. To control, one must first. Give it one more turn, but we're confidently in garbage time at this point, so not much more sense in playing this out. We need the showdown here. Seen two counters, a board wipe, three, four pieces of removal, five pieces of removal. Okay, if it's not showdown, then we're gonna concede. Yeah, so this deck's probably gonna fall in the can do some things, probably better against the creature decks, but these heavily interactive decks, we're just not gonna stand a chance. Like, they're one for one in my scoot swarms, but. Why are you... Have a good clean match. Yeah, we're done. Alright, so we'll wrap this up. This deck up at least. Overall, can do some things, like I said. Not consistent enough. There's just not enough ways to enable um, consistently pulling lands into play. We want stuff like Rada or ways to just kind of get value. We're... The package, like, the, the Spera Magda Showdown package continues to be impressive. Um, but overall, these are kind of low-impact cards on their own that just aren't doing enough.